Go swag. No. You you won't think you have money after you shop in Rivet City. Rip. The last time I, I I went to Rivet City, I didn't come to the marketplace. I totally missed this. Like I end up walking around the side of the ship and entering through like a random way, and I got lost. All right, Doctor Lee, where's the lab? Saint Monica's Church. Hello. If you want any of this shit, just say so. Otherwise, keep your fingers the hell away from the triggers. I don't want no accidents. Hey, Rat Devil, what's up? Can I get a drink on this tub? Come back soon. Oh, do they have ammo? Oh. It's this here is Flack and Shrapnel's gun shop. Pretty catchy, huh? Yeah. Take a look around. If you see anything you like, I'll be right over here. That's pretty catch catchy. RKDN. 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 What's up, RKDN? Ark or is it Arkadian? Arkadian? Wait, that's what I was saying though. No, I wasn't. Arkad RKDN. Ark RK <laughs> Ark RKDN. What's up to disguise? Hey Yuffie, how are you? What's up, cops? <laughs> hey Servicio. Um I see what kind of guns you have. Need to do some killing, eh? Yeah. Wow, so much ammo. So cheap too. How much, how much shotgun ammo do we have? Two hundred. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off buying that for now. I don't think I have anything else I can sell, so. A pleasure doing business with you. Did you know that Polly Cantelli is an addict? Yeah, he's totally strung out. It's gonna kill him one of these days. RKDN. RKDN. How's that? How's that? RKDN. RKDN. Us in Germany. <laughs> All right, cop. Sounds good. I hope your headache goes away. If you need more ammo. Oh, All right, cool. This guy sells like a ton of ammo. That's pretty awesome. Ted Strayer, you can chill with me if you want, dude. Cool, dude. All right, you and me just hanging. Later, dude. That's weird. Whoa. What's the rush, dude? They like arcade Ian? No, I think it's Arcadian. Arcadian? Arcadian! Arcadian? Oh my god. Is it Arcadian? Why is your name spelt that way? It's so spelt wrong. Arcadian. We did it, guys. We did it, Arcadian. Oh my gosh. Arcadian. All right, all right. Arcadian. Wow, your name. <laughs> Okay, I okay, I gotcha. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Later, dude. Arcadian, Arcadian. Welcome to Potomac Attire. I am Bannon, proprietor and city council member. I carry discriminating attire for discriminating customers. So you're also a person of refinement. Between you and me, keeping out the riffraff is good for business. 
So you're on the city council. Dr. Lee, Chief Harkness, and I are all on the council. We meet every Monday morning. I can be very influential, if you know what I mean. Far more than Seagrave Holmes. So you've met him, eh? Sure, why well, not? Well, he wants to replace me on the council. Now I can't have that. No siree. He's a shady character. I just can't prove it. If <sighs> someone were to find something in the room... didn't turn on the bot. Well, let's just say I would be very appreciative. Mods didn't turn off the bot. Um, so, mods, there's this really cool feature, and when I start streaming, if you type exclamation point online, then it actually turns the bot on, and we can give everybody in the channel candy for watching the stream. It's really cool. Uh, we've actually had it since the very first day that I've streamed, literally the first day. Um, so it's pretty cool. And feel free to use it, um, you know, whenever I'm streaming. Um, if you don't know my schedule, I stream six days a week, Monday through Saturday, from noon to 7 Eastern Time. Now, if you open up Google and you, and you Google, um, you know, time zone converter, time zone converter, uh, you can actually convert your time zone uh, with mine, so you can see what time it is in your local area. It's a really awesome thing about the interwebs. Um, and that way, you can find out when I start streaming at your local time, so that you know when I'm streaming and when I start streaming. And then when I start streaming, all you have to do is type exclamation point online. And what this does is it turns the bot on, and the bot will start to uh, count the length of the stream and it will give everybody candy. So candy generation is one candy every 15 minutes while the bot is online. Um, so if you start the bot at noon, <laughs> then people can get candy. It's a place to live, safe from raiders and super mutants. With Dr. Lee on our side, maybe we can even begin to rebuild the world. Straight to the point. I like that. All right. I don't want. I don't know if I want any of this. Maybe. Looking at the benefits. Troublemaker. I don't think we need any of this. All right. What's up, GPX Tide? My mind is blown. <laughs> What's up, OPTSF fan? How's it going? <laughs> Alright. Come back soon. Bye. <clears throat> this is a quick fix. I mean, that's the name of our shop. Polly and mine, that is. My name is Cindy. This is a quick Cindy fix. Cindy Cantelli. She seems very literal. Look who that says. I mean, Andre's gone for one day, and <sighs> Jesus, it's like like we're missing missing a giant piece of our channel. Barely kept together now. Dego's on vacation. It's like wow, wow. Um, damn, you sound like you've been sampling your own stuff. No, no, no. I would never do that. Your eyes are Holly does. purple. Sample it. I mean, he's my deadbeat husband. Your husband is an addict? He's hopeless. I have to keep him away from the shop or I'll rob us blind. That's One pretty of these bad. Days, he's going to end up dead. Uh, what do you have for sale? We've got all kinds of chems. Okay. Bye. Right. I'm sure you'll be back soon. Andre's out. Let's party. Oh, we don't want to steal anything. Hey. Uh. Hey. One of the new immigrants died of radiation poisoning last week. Yeah, I heard she was drinking river water. The ship's water isn't much better. You don't get fresh water. All right. Where's the lab? Wow.
Dude, I would not- I don't know if I would want to live here. This could just collapse, right? I mean, I don't know. Alright, let's go up here. Oh, there's some doors over this way. The Weatherly Hotel? What's down here? Church and common room. I think actually this might lead to the lab. No, Ripswag, no. Don't jinx this shit. What the hell is this place? Alright, science lab, this way, here we go. Science lab! This way, please. Look, this is a restricted area. I'm tired of telling you people. Well, it's you. My heavens, you look so much like him. Where's my dad? You're James's daughter, aren't you? What are you doing here? You're about to be cleared by moderator Ripswag and PTDB won't save you. Wrecked! Oh, wrecked. Wrecked, wrecked. Rip, 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 Ripswag. Get wrecked. <laughs> um, you know my father? Have you seen him? Well, yes, of course I do. Don't you know who I am? I suppose James never told you. Typical. I'm Dr. Madison Lee. I worked with your father many years ago. Your mother as well, in fact. You'll have to forgive me. This has all been very stressful. Wrecked. Your father suddenly showing up here after being gone for so long. You have to understand that I... We put all of that behind us. Project Purity, our work, all of it. We've moved on, even if your father hasn't. Oh well. Rip rip swag. Local rip swag. <laughs> Grabs his popcorn and watches Rip Swag go against the mods. Rip Swag hasn't been here like in a week, so he has to make up for all the uh trolling to the mods. <laughs> uh can you tell me more about my parents? I suppose so. I worked with them for several years until until your mother died, and your father decided it was time to leave. What else do you want to know? Tell me more. James? He was very driven. Determined to change the world. <laughs> well, we all were back then, I suppose. He was focused on two things, really. Making Project Purity work, and your mother. When she died, I think... I think he gave up. I know he wanted to keep you safe, but I think part of what he did was run away. But it seems that he never really was able to get over the idea. I'm frankly shocked that he waited all this time and wants to try again. Tell me about my mother. Yes, your mother was, well, she was a good woman, a very dedicated scientist. Your father loved her very much. It was a shame that she died. She had been excited to meet you. What's up, hello, I'm Jeff. How are you? Why did my mother die? What happened? Complications from childbirth. None of us were expecting it. We weren't as prepared as we could have been. You have to understand, we were struggling with scavenged, derelict equipment. We did everything we could. I'm sure you did. Yes. Well, uh, I'm sorry it wasn't enough. Okay. Um, tell me about you. What? Well, I, I'm not sure what there is to tell. Wow, Lord I, Beer, my sir. We worked together for a long time. I, I think we were really on to something. But then there were complications. The project was abandoned and your father disappeared. 
I returned here to Rivet City and established the lab you see before you now. Tell me about this project you worked on with my father. Project Purity, we called it. What do you want to know? Why is everybody capping in the chat? Why is everybody capping? Odds you did not do it right. Why is there so many kappas? Oh my gosh. What was the point of it? It was simple, really. Fresh, clean water for everyone. Such a simple idea and yet so impossible to realize. The plan was to build a facility that could purify all the water in the tidal basin at once. No radiation, no muck, just clear water. It just turned out to be more difficult than we anticipated. Why didn't it work? We had the basic principles down. We understood most of the science behind it, but the radiation in the area is so pervasive. Small-scale tests were fine, but any time we tried to test the process on a larger scale, it was just... too much. Maybe if we'd had more time, or better equipment. Why is everybody capping? Guys, stop. Okay, Gregel said it's no troll Thursday. Okay, and you guys are doing the opposite, so stop. I apparently, no troll Thursday, I don't get to be trolled for one day. Can't you guys go one day without trolling me? Freaking Ripswag already, like, freaking ruined that five minutes in. Oh, go clapped. <laughs> you happened. It wasn't just you. We had more problems than we could handle already, but your birth is what finally pushed oh it over the God. edge. Oh my God. Your father decided that you were more important than everything we'd been working for, and he left. He left I can't even pay attention to the story right now. Gone, this is important. decided we weren't worth their time anymore. Without their protection, we had to abandon the purifier. Oh my God. What if no troll Thursday itself is a troll? Uh... Oko, please let us, Kappa. What? Remember, Loco, the day you took a picture of our words and then used it against us? It was alphabetical, Loco, alphabetical. What? <laughs> swag. Oh, why is everybody Kappa 123 now? R Narsil, really? You don't even mod, and you come in here once a year. You come in here once a year to the channel, and you just try and get everybody to spam Marino. Freaking worst mod ever. Okay. Hey, thanks, UTD33. Thank you for enjoying the stream. Thank you for watching the stream and enjoying the gameplay that's happening and not whatever nonsense is in the chat. Thank you so much, UTD33. Thank you. Okay. What is this lab? This is the Rivet City Science Lab. It's taken many long years to put together, but we've done well for ourselves. Our work on portable fusion power and hydroponics are coming along quite nicely, if not quite according to schedule. This is like the biggest chunk of, of story that we've done in a long time. You guys are just capping. Hey, look, I'm enjoying the gameplay. Thanks, Ikes. Oh, God, nurse. What kind of place is this, Rivet City? Rivet City is one of the few bastions of civilization left in the land. We're working to rebuild our society, to make the world livable again. Did we already ask about the parents? What do you want to know? We already did all this. Okay. You mean you haven't? I assumed he sent you here. For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. Hi, Loco. I'm enjoying the chat. Yeah. Play Fallout. I want to watch. I'm trying. I'm trying. This is about me. This is about my father. I left the vault to look for him. Did you? I was under the impression that's exactly the opposite of what he wanted for you. But what you. would you think he... Well, you I won't mean... find him here. He's come and gone already. Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. Predictably, he refused to listen to me. He says he can prove it will work and head it off to the old lab. Okay. I'm sorry, I don't well, know what else to tell you. How about you tell me where the old lab is? 
He's headed off to the old lab. I'm sorry. I don't know what else to tell you. Like, okay, well, how about you tell me where the old lab is? Like, oh my god. It's in the old Jefferson Memorial Building, northwest of here. Please, don't go after him. It was foolish of him to even think about going there alone. We were there. How did we not see him? I think we were there. We were there. I found a nickel, and a dime, and a quarter, and a lot more! Hey, ten dollars from Shadow Ninja! Hugs, I may look a lot, but you're awesome. Don't stop being a beautiful person. Runs away into lurker land. Thanks, Shadow Ninja. Thanks. And no problem. Feel free to lurk away. I love my lurkers. Especially because they don't cap in the chat. So, thank you. Um, is there any way you could help me out? Look, I don't want to be harsh, but I have problems of my own. I don't have the resources to support James's foolish endeavors or your chasing after him. I'm sorry. Speech. I suppose I can spare a few stim packs. Nice. It's not much, but it might make things easier for you. Five? Okay. Good luck finding your father. Look, Dr. Zimmer, we've been over. What's up, Mr. Bill? We don't know about your runaway robot, and we don't. Care. What's up, Dr. Ferret? This lab is dedicated to solving. Hey, Damien. Damien is one of our res yeah, resident yeah. lurkers. But Dr. Lee. Dr. Lee <laughs> Sergeant Fred. What's up, Shiro? With those efforts. Now, please. Aside. Oh, Carp, uh, I said Kappa the chat. Kappa in the chat, not Cap the chat. Yeah, that's what I- I'm sorry. Please excuse me. There is much work to be done. What do you do? I help Dr. Lee when she needs equipment moved. I am no scientist. I just help with the heavy things. Oh, Dr. Lee, wow. What's at stake? You won't tell me what's at stake. I'm Janice Kaplinski, Chief Botanist. What do you need? Janice Kaplinski. I did see a man talking to Dr. Lee, but I really shouldn't be discussing it. What's up, Ego? She's already in a bad mood. I'd hate to make it worse. You should probably just oh talk to her. Oh my god. About it. The chat. Bad the chat. So long. Vagaries and secrecy. A robot's a robot, Zimmer. No matter how shiny the paint job. Oh. Now, please. Yay, guys! We found a bobblehead. Yay! Shiny paint job, indeed. You, you there? What are you? Some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more. Wow, more lack. Are you by any chance for hire? The chat is entertaining today. Oh my gosh. Chat is entertaining today, guys. The chat is entertaining today. Um, wow. That's, I mean, that's why I stream. That's why I stream and I sit here in front of the camera and I play games so that the chat can be entertaining. I just, I'm honored. To the point. I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced some very sensitive property. What property? Hmm. How do I put this in a way you'll understand? All you know of robots are those buckets of bolts, those Don't Mr. doubt my intelligence and whatnot. I just gained well, intelligence like a second all ago, a so robot can be. You see, in the Commonwealth. We've made artificial persons, synthetic humanoids, programmed to think and feel and do whatever we need. And occasionally, they get confused and wander off. Who's this Chad? Can we have a link to your stream? <laughs> your head is in the way of the posters. I'm sorry. Um, hey, I'm Death Wooly. What's up? Phi Beta Kappa Society Night. I wanted to subscribe, but I'm curious, what does the money go to? Um, it's this is my job, so it goes to paying bills. Um, it goes to well, yeah, uh, a percentage goes to Twitch, um, but it goes to paying bills and living, living, 
I hope that's okay. I gained intelligence like a minute ago when I got the bubble head. What's up, Joe's daddy? Um, what does this have to do with me? You're helping me retrieve this android, aren't you? I've tracked him this far. He's out there somewhere in the capital wasteland. He must have done something drastic, like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. Of course. Huh. I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. <laughs> I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think, you'll be the envy of all your friends. Me? Yeah. Hey, some weird STD. Thank you so much for subbing. Really appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> um, Grummy Cat is going to welcome you into the looty bin. Some weird STD. Thank you so much for subbing. You are now officially a full-fledged loony. Welcome. Thank you so much. Um, wow. I, I, usually people that, like, wow. Thank you. I'm, I'm just surprised. Thank you so much. Um, thanks, Flying Asian. Okay. We'll look for the android. Excellent. Locate my android, and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to this message he sent me. He's mocking me. I swear, I'll make him pay for that. All right, we got a note. The replicated man. What is an android exactly? Forget everything you know about robots. Those buckets are mere children's toys compared to the real thing. Androids have fake skin and mm. blood and are programmed to simulate human behavior, like breathing. They can even eat and digest food realistically. That's cool. What's up, Wolf Macho? <laughs> um, any suggestions for finding this android? Like I said, I suspect he's had facial reconstruction and possibly even a mind wipe. Search the offices of doctors or techies for android information. If he's come into contact with these people, there may be records. Start with Dr. Preston. He lives on this leaky boat. See if he knows anything. He's a doctor, Dr. Preston? After all. Is he around here? Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy trying to ignore my surroundings. If this android wandered off, why would he want a new mind and face? Maybe. Maybe he didn't exactly wander off. Maybe he fled. Escaped captivity, as it were, if he began to misinterpret his situation. It's possible my android sought to forget his previous life. Wipe away all memory, all guilt. Trick himself into believing he really is human. I want so to meet no, this thing. He may not be just an ordinary robot, but he's certainly not human. No matter how badly he wishes it so. I made him. I want him. End of story. Huh. Huh. Hey, thanks so much, some weird STD. Thank you. Is this iRobot? Um. It kind of reminds me of Robopocalypse. Why would an android feel guilt? By God, you're as annoying as you are clever. Very well. I'll tell you what you want to know, if it helps you locate my property. The duty of this particular unit was the hunting and capturing of other escaped androids. Yes, others have escaped. It's one of the side effects of having such an advanced AI. Machines start to think for themselves fool themselves into believing they have rights. And so, this particular android may have believed he'd done something wrong. Immor